So the precept that we're talking about today is precept number four. Um, I'll just review the first three so that we're kind of going in a row. The first precept is for today only, do not anger, do not worry, be humble, and be honest in your work. So be honest in your work is what we're talking about today. Um, what's really interesting is the translated Japanese, I might have mentioned this before, um, the simplest form is be honest in your work, but the longer and more um, accurate translation is be true to your way and your being, which uh, is so beautiful, but it also reflects the... Um, the reason that the precepts exist um, and the whole goal of Reiki, which is to bring us closer to our essential essence, our true divine nature, um, which is something that is inherent in us. It's something that we can learn to be more and more connected to, but it's not, it does not come from outside of us. It's not something that someone else is giving us or that we need someone else to get us to or to give to us. We already have it, it's indwelling in us. Um, really what we're doing is learning what things to release um, to be more like our true selves. Um, so it's not a destroying of anything. Um, we are just moving back in line with who we truly are um, and our soul, which is, um, just pure love energy, um, which also brings us to the story that I want to tell to illustrate the principle, um, be honest in your work, be true to your way and your being. Um, and it's a story from Ram Das. So, um, and if you've gotten a facial from me, you've probably heard this because it's one of my, um, facial music tracks, but also I think I listen to the music way more than anyone else does. Um, so Ram Das tells this story of when he went to India and he met his guru and his guru said to him, love everybody. Ram Das, love everybody. And Ram Das said, I can't. My mind is so full of judgments. And his guru said to him, Ram Das, love everyone and tell the truth. Um, and so I think that that kind of ties together. Um, it brings us back to the earlier precepts, do not anger and do not worry. Um, be honest in your work. And by your work, it means your spiritual work, not what you physically do to make money. Um, but it's helpful because, you know, it can sound frustrating to say, do not anger, do not worry. Um, you know, as if we can just decide we're not going to be angry or we're not going to worry. Um, but this part reminds us um, to be honest with ourselves um, because being dishonest isn't going to do us any good. You know, if we do feel anger, pretending that we don't um, is going to be so much worse than just acknowledging it. And once we acknowledge something, we can observe it and move through it rather than stuffing it down, which ends up, um, you know, we end up holding on to things if we, if we don't acknowledge them. They don't go away. Um, we just push them out of our conscious awareness where they cause many more problems. Um, so that is be true to your way and your being. Be honest in your work. And next week we're going to talk about the final precept. Um, so thanks for making it this far with me. Um, this weekend is my first workshop. I'm so excited and um, keep an eye out for more updates and I will talk to you guys soon.